That is the best BMW in the world. How do I know that before even driving it? Well, because BMW says it is. In fact, there are some in the company that say that car is iconic. And coming from the makers of iconic cars like the M1 and the M3, that's quite a large statement to make. And saying such things would make you believe that the 7 Series rewrites the rulebook in its class. But it really doesn't. There are, of course, a lot of things that this sixth generation is better at than the last one, but in relation to its competition, the Audi A8, Mercedes-Benz S-Class, Maserati Ghibli and Jaguar XJ, it's really just the BMW spin on the luxury saloon recipe. Sure, it has some stuff from the cutting edge of the car-making world, like a chassis that combines carbon-reinforced plastic and aluminium, but there is a lot in here that is familiar, and in some ways, it's gone backwards. Well, maybe not backwards, but consider the E65 7 Series. It had such a severe case of crisp bangalitis that the best it could do was divide opinion about how hideous it was. By comparison, this one is incredibly tame. There's nothing really to make it stand out. There's nothing shouty or aggressive about it. And for me, that's what makes it really nice. Like all well-designed things, there is a simplicity to this car that helps it make its impact. There are very few crease lines, with most of the detail being found in the shaping of the metal. Chrome accents create subtle highlights, and the result is a car that has an understated elegance. It is a big car, but its overall look is stylish rather than imposing. There is a lot of typical BMW design in here, of course, and there's more of that in the technical bits. We're driving the 730D, which is a badge we're familiar with, and the engine as well, familiar. It's a straight-six 3-litre turbo diesel with 195 kilowatts, 620 newton meters, and a power delivery that is not exactly electrifying, but it is satisfying. It makes a good noise, it's got decent shove, but all in all, it's really not surprising. The interesting engine arrives later this year when BMW will add a plug-in hybrid to the lineup. For now, there's one diesel, a six-cylinder petrol and a 4.4-litre V8 petrol, and the whole range packs the eight-speed Steptronic automatic. There are a few surprising things about this car, and not in a good way. The first is the amount of cabin noise in here, which is really more than you might expect. And then there's the suspension setup that really lets you know about the sharper bumps in the road. So from a ride point of view, this isn't the most serene thing in its class. All that said though, those things might have been done on purpose. BMW has designed the 7 Series to be as engaging as possible, which means the driver can't be too isolated to what's going on outside the cabin. The 730D can corner at impressive speed without complaining, but the steering always feels over-assisted. Combine that with the standard self-leveling suspension on both axles, and you have a setup where most of that connection with the car is deleted. But honestly, no one buys one of these cars and really expects to get a properly involving drive, no matter how much power it's got or what its manufacturer says. And when it comes to the 730D, that's really quite all right because it does what it's supposed to do really well. It's got decent power when you want it, it's got good grip when you feel like it, and like all luxury saloons should, it just always feels really effortless and unfussed. A quick word about fuel consumption. Our test car is riding on optional 20-inch wheels, which cost 40 grand, and BMW claims that pushes up the baseline fuel consumption to 4.9 litres per 100 k's. We didn't have the car long enough to do a proper test, but even so, it does seem like a very optimistic number. But what is indisputable is that this car has it absolutely nailed in the department that counts the most in this class, comfort and technology. And the technology isn't just about making sure you stay as comfortable as possible, but also as safe as possible, and includes things like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. And then there are the new things. It starts with the LCD key, which is basically a smart device that allows you to check various parameters of the car. It also allows you to set up the aircon before you even get in. And then in the center console, there's an area where you can wirelessly recharge this or your cell phone. And BMW have also developed new ways to interact with the car. It still has handwriting recognition and improved voice control, but they've also developed gesture recognition, which allows you to take control of the various functions without even touching any buttons. And that just means you don't Busy. Where was I? 
Oh yes, there are a lot of touch-based elements in here, the most impressive being a tablet for rear passengers that controls a lot of the car's systems. If you want to see more of the 7 Series tech in action, head over to our website at rpmtv.co.za now and have a look. While it may have similar space and power and options to its competition, it's an attention to detail that sets this car apart. The tablet that's presented to you when you eject it, the switches that are metal, not silver painted plastic, and the grill that only opens when the engine is switched on, so when the car is parked you don't have gaping holes exposing the radiator and upsetting the front end styling. The new BMW 7 Series is a step up from the previous generation. It's also as enjoyable to drive and as comfortable as its competition. But it's not a game changer. Although what makes it special is that it is a technological masterpiece, even more impressive than the much venerated Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And that in itself is something worth boasting about. The 3 litre turbo diesel may be a familiar motor, but it still offers decent power when needed. Similarly, the 8 speed Steptronic gearbox is as good as it's ever been with smooth, quick shifts. The new BMW 7 Series has a good drive that may be less refined than some would want, but what sets it apart though is an attention to detail in its execution and some very impressive tech inside and out.